Afternoon everybody, this is Tyler with Boost Junkie Media and right now we are going to start getting the uh, trailer ready. Tomorrow we are going to head to Northeast Dragway in Hertford, North Carolina to do a little bit of drag racing. So right now we're going to go ahead and get the uh, trailer hooked up and we'll go ahead and in the morning we'll get the car hooked up. Go ahead and get the trailer tonight and get everything kind of started, set up. So yeah, kind of thought I would kind of take you along and show you what we're going to do. So here we are. We're in the truck right now, so we're gonna back up. Almost there. Perfect. Set our parking brake. Pull that up. Pop our trailer down. our thing all the way up. Walk a wood along. And then what I usually do is I usually just go ahead and pull it up onto the pavement and then hook everything up. And now this should snap down there. Put our hitch pin through there. This will slide onto there. Like that, like that. That keeps our hitch pin down. Make sure our foot's all the way up. Then we'll hook up our chains. That one goes there. goes there, hook up our safety lock, and there we go. We have a hooked up trailer. So like I said, in the morning, we'll go ahead and load everything else up, get the car loaded, Get everything else loaded, but I just wanted to get the trailer hooked up, ready to go tonight. So, more to come in the morning. Here we are at Northeast Dragway. Just got here, got the car unloaded. And we're just waiting, I'm gonna go take the car here in a few minutes. And racing doesn't start until one o'clock. So we got a couple hours, about an hour and a half. This is it, and there's the actual strip. You can see the big wind uh, generator or electric generator from wind in the background. More to come. All right, we uh, I think we got the car ready. We're gonna go up for tech. Tech in. Yeah, good. All right. Okay, do you have a trans brake in here? I do. Okay, we you start you gonna run the race or you just test it? I just test it. Okay, what's this for? Uh just in case there's a little bit of a weak hole on the top. Okay. It's just in case there's a little bit of residue, just kinda of catch it. It's never done it, but our buddy might have had it happen on his and he was like it wouldn't hurt this tire rag right here. Uh it, it's 
99% water, there's probably just a little bit of, of, of antifreeze in there just to keep it from freezing in the winter. Of that you heard but that was tech basically so that's actually the most in-depth one i think i've <laughs> experienced
that time, it just didn't stick it. No, it was the water from the Honda. That's why I pulled you so far out of the box. The fucker had drunk water all the way to the goddamn starting line. So, it, like in the video, it stuck. Uh -huh. It goes about three feet and, and hits then that spins. fucker's water. Dude, it was, it was on a pass, too. Yeah. I I, four, four and a half pounds I left on. I, I was watching it. Yeah, I could tell you were like focused on it because it come up a lot harder on the Yeah. Bike. Like I said, it, was, it was on it was on a pass yeah. until it fucking, fucking spun. It stuck about that far. Um, and then fucking a stupid ass fucker in that Honda, man. Goddamn fucking front wheel drive cars. Uh, he, did, he did it twice. Yeah, I know. I saw it. Water out of the fucking box. All the fucking way up there, then backed up and fucking did it again. Did it again. So. Oh well. What did it go that time? Six seven at one seventeen. I I don't even think I stayed in it all the way. I think I got out right right like right as I was going through the traps right before. I was only got back in it because I wanted to run that Corvette down. <laughs> I was gonna try anyway. I almost got him. Yeah, I almost got him. They don't give me his slip, so I don't know what mile an hour he was going, but. Yeah, it fucking until it spawned, it fucking felt good. It was on a 